For this movement, what I want you to focus on is we're gonna start in a narrow stance. You have rotational arm swings going back and forth, side to side, rotating back. While you do this, focus on breath. We're focusing on good feeling movement. Doesn't get better than that. Here we go. So narrow stance, you're zipped up. I want you to rotate, controlled, side to side. Now my head's following my arms. I'm rotating. If I wanted to keep my head centered, I could do that as well. But I'm breathing and the motion is slow, controlled. I like to call it yummy. It should feel really yummy. Wind you up, wind you down, doesn't matter. This movement's good for many purposes. And often, we don't do enough movement throughout our day. So this gets us in different distances and directions. <sighs> Reset. Now, we get to do the arm swings again, and I bet you liked it, so yay. But we're gonna go a much wider stance, a wide base of support here, just slightly different positioning. And we're still gonna swing our arms, rotating side to side. So, set up your legs, wide stance. Again, focus on, here we go. Eyes can stay to the front if you need them to or want them to. You can rotate with those arms. Eyes follow. It's ringing out the towel. Ringing out that towel. Yummy. You might notice some kind of sticky points, maybe on one side more than another. That's that can be common. So you just gotta breathe through that so that you feel a little more symmetrical, a little more balanced. And just reset for a moment. So that rotation's healthy, it is good for us. But I want you to reset, kinda of come out of it. We'll do about 20 seconds and uh, narrow and wide stance again. Just focus right now on, set that neutral narrow stance. Pelvis is kind of think, draw in and up, tailbone down. Here we go. Arm swings side to side. I don't want you to stress or strain here. So you work a range of motion that's a happy place right now. You can breathe through it. And then set your feet wide. And we go again. Tailbones down to the ground, holding neutral. You can feel a stretch through that whole, that thoracic region. It's kind of releasing right here, thoracic. That's what we want, really mobile. And one and done. Good, you are reset. All right, we have a split stance and a frontal plane arm swing. So you're gonna have some lateral flexion. I don't really want necessarily deep lunge, it's just an offset stance here. Arms are swinging up and over, up and over. So that's the motion. Let's just start on one side. So set it up, okay? Activate the glutes here. Arms are up overhead. Here we go. So you're reaching up and over, tall over anything else. That's kind of your goal in mind. You're really tall and then you reach up and over. Reach up and over like you're in between two planes of glass. You should feel some pull and stretch through your torso there, the sides. Actually quite a good challenge for stability and balance. Right here, kind of set that standard of plugging into your abs. Up and over, up and over. Kind of anchor in those ribs down. Last one and reset. So we'll go again, we'll offset the other leg. Keep our arm swings in that frontal plane motion here in between two planes of glass, a little tick tock, okay? Focus on here that you're kind of anchoring those ribs, settling them down, kind of anchoring scapula and ribs together. So let's go ahead, offset on the other direction, on the other leg, up and overs, up and overs. So you're here, up and over. You can start to improve that range of motion as we go, as needed, as it feels good. Breathing, breathing through it. Proprioception, you're like, whoa, my feet are talking all the way up the chain. I gotta balance as I go off center. Indeed, 
last one, and reset. We'll do both sides again, just a little shorter time frame, that's all. <clears throat> Focus again on thinking about tailbones down, you're scooping in your abs, reaching up and over. It's a feel good, balance kind of thing, good for in the middle, in the front, anytime in the workout. I like to sometimes just pause, reset. We're going on one side now, working on some range of motion. I'll tell you when to switch sides, don't worry. Last one here, switch. <clears throat> Step it back, arms up, reach up and over. Find some sticky points, breathe through it. I feel that side. Last one, and good, just getting it started, nicely done. All right, we have frontal plane jumps. I want a small range of motion so you think side to side. Doesn't have to be a huge hurdle just yet. You're getting the motion, you're getting moving in this frontal plane. I want you to just focus on, kind of, am I absorbing in my core? Am I soft and athletic in that? Make myself feel and look athletic in that positioning. So your inner athlete's coming out, let's do it. We're starting in three, two, one. Just side to side. Jumping side to side. There's a little bit, of, a little line, a little line you kind of want to jump over there. But it's just like initial kind of underneath yourself, if you will, kind of small little box frame of movement here. Side to side. Thinking about how you feel strong in your center so that the joints are happy. Last little bit and reset. We get to do it again, okay? So you're just thinking, I'm working on my cardio. I'm working on an initial level of some uh, impact here so that I know how to handle that, that I can handle that if I needed to throughout my day, sometime or another. So we're gonna get started in a few seconds here. Again, small range of motion, just making it happen. Three, two, one. Side to side, side to side. A little tick-tock motion here. Kind of a safe place, if you will. We're not going real big outside that range of motion. Doesn't have to feel super out of the zone, out of your comfort. Kind of keep it comfortable. Keep it comfortable right here. Still, you'll notice you're having an effect from it. Probably metabolic, right? And reset. Okay, one more time. One more time, move around, kind of stay moving, but reset, recover. Maybe water would be a good idea right now. Squat or lunge to pick it up. And again, we're gonna get started here pretty quickly. So rejoin, get back into position. 30 seconds and three, two, one. Side to side. Frontal plane jumps, that's what this is, frontal plane jumps. That is an accomplishment for the day, tell you what. Challenging move. Working in that small frame, I bet you got some more pep in the step now though. Last little bit, stay with me. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and frontal plane jumps. Look what you just knocked out. Excellent. So that we're ready for anything, we have a squat to press with two different foot positions. So we'll have dumbbells in the hands. I'm in an offset stance here, my right foot's back. It'll be a squat to a press for several reps and then we'll switch sides. So let's go ahead and pick up your dumbbells. Squat or lunge, pick them up. Pick something that'll challenge you or whatever you have. So from here, I'm in a split stance, my right foot slightly back, and squat, overhead press. This way we're not perfectly symmetrical in the feet position, practicing all positions. Reset, other foot's back slightly there, and squat, press. Lows those hips a little bit different. At the top, plank. 
really engage, kind of pinch a penny butt cheeks. And whew, that was set one. We get to do it again. Focus on, yes, it feels a little awkward sometimes, but the whole point being, that's how you move and groove typically. You don't wait, line up the feet, pick something up, not typically. So let's practice again. How would you would do it actually quite normally? Offset position there and squat, press. At the top, brace for a punch in your abs. <sighs> Tall but braced. Tall but braced. <sighs> Reset. Other side, load, press. Load, <sighs> catch it with your core. <sighs> Last one. And reset. One last time, I challenge you, either pick up heavier weight. If you don't have that option, that's just fine. Think about improving bone density right here with load. Great function anyways, every time you pick something up. So let's do it one more time. Split that stance, load at the shoulders, squat, put it up on the shelf. And reset, focus on some breath. Don't wait to the end to breathe. And one and done, yes! Squatter lunge, set them down. You're ready for anything, you're ready for anything. Good job, you're strong. In and out kick, great hip opener. What I want you to think about is you're going to have an offset stance. My right foot's back, but just do one side to start. Let me show you. You're going to bring that knee up, around, and step back to that position. Now, lead with the knee and circle around. So let's go ahead and start on that side. Pull, lead with the knee, circle around with the hip. The hip goes in and out. That foot follows. That foot follows. Maybe think just at whatever level right now you can do, but maybe around that hip height, hip level. Drive the knee, extend the leg, and around. So you're circling around, circling around. Ooh, feel that rotation, not only in the core there. Stabilize that base knee and leg by thinking glutes and abs. Woo! Bend that knee, extend around. Bend, extend around. Open it up. Wax on, wax off. What? Wax on, wax off. And recover for a moment. We're gonna go again, but on the other side. So offset, I'm going left leg back now, but whichever the, you haven't done yet. Think about, maybe you just practice the knee first, pull the knee in, around, step back to that start position. You start and end in the same place. Now we just add that leg following with the kick. Let's do it. Bend around. Bend the leg follows. Bend the knee, open the leg follows. I like step-by-step -step processes. Bend the knee, extend the leg and around. <sighs> Opening up that hip. <sighs> Gotta focus here on stability for sure. <sighs> I do too. <sighs> Again, you're going about hip level. Give me your best last few. <sighs> start and end, start and end. Last one. Good job. All right. We'll do 20-20, so we'll just kind of split it up for this last round. I want you to pretend, pretend you're the karate kid. You kind of put yourself in that, um, that feeling and mode. You'll probably feel more natural in the kick. So set it up. You got your telephone microphone arms here, protecting your face. Let's go. My right foot's back. Bend circle with that kick. Bend circle with that kick. Oh, so I started choppy, and now getting that groove. Get in that groove. Bend, extend, and round. Last little bit, we're gonna switch sides and switch. Here we go. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Bracing those abs, always. We like all core all the time. All core all the time. Bend that knee, drive it around. Opening that hip last little bit. And you did it, great job. 
Push-ups with a challenge, my favorite. We have a push-up with a sagittal plane shift or like a sawing motion, if you will. Let me break it out for you. So push-up position, you are going down and up. That doesn't change. But you're shifting forward and back through your feet, rocking forward and back as we go down and as we come up. All right? So that's what it looks like. Now let's experience. So break it down into that plank position. So think hands under those shoulders, feet locked in. You've got quads, glutes, abs, long neck. From here, we're descending as we shift forward and back, forward and back, forward and back as we come up. Doing it again. Descending, pulling yourself down, pushing that floor away. Again. Challenging, changing that motion a little bit just to drive a response through the body there. Some mobility, some stretch work. Woohoo, one more. Tight center body, body like a surfboard as you move. Forward and back, sawing motion, and set. So that was our first five. We're going to get to do it again. Shake it out a little bit. You should feel that load through that whole thoracic region. Don't forget to hold on. I know you're focusing on the saw forward and back, but let's knock it out again. Focus on keeping that lift in the abdomen. Here we go. Plank it out first, moving forward and back. Pulling yourself down like a row, pushing that floor away. I challenge you, stay with me maybe, just so that if you start speeding it up, I want to make you feel that time under tension a little bit. <sighs> Moving through those feet, sagittal plane shift. <sighs> One more. <sighs> and stay down to the floor maybe for a moment because we're going right again. Less rest. We're gonna knock it out, last five, shake it out, and three, two, one. On the floor, plank, shifting forward and back. Now maybe we'll pick up that pace a little bit. Focus on your plank. It's a plank with moving body, sawing motion, Last one. Skimming that floor, pushing it away. And boom, getting better every day. Nice. We have a speed run in this round. And what I want you to think about is about your pace. We're not necessarily doing high knees. I want you to make it different from being real grounded here. I do want you to make it different. So in these rounds, my goal for you is progress. Progress, progress. So challenge yourself in your pace. Let's get that heart rate kick in. And we're starting in three, two, and one. Running in, in place, speed is the name of the game. I feel the need for speed. Running in place. You know what I really like about running in place in your house or wherever you are? Is that I feel really fast. There's no nothing to tell me otherwise. <laughs> Last little bit here, stay moving, because we get to reset so you can pump it out again. Three, two, and one. All right, reset. The beauty of a reset is that you gain a little confidence, heart rate goes down a little bit so we can go back up. Gotta bring you down so we can go up. Otherwise you hit that wall. We're all about progress. So, if this is your, your opportunity today to get that heart rate up, make it happen, make it worth it. You're starting in three, two, and one. Speed run. Today, your opportunity to make this be your couple minutes of workout, whatever it is you've set aside, make it work. Can you pick up that pace? Do you have another gear? Do you have another gear? Quicken that pace. Last little bit. Three, two, one. Reset. 
Now, I want you to notice when you do that, are you pumping those arms too? We want some movement, moving and grooving through that entire chain, okay? Best bang for our buck, best power output right there then. Whew, speed, power through that movement, natural movement. You have one more round here, gonna make it worth it. Gonna make it worth it. Last little bit, three, two, just finish. Finish it off. Wrap it up, put a bow on it. You're fast. Yes, you are. Your goal is to not slow down. Your goal is to not slow down. It's to pick up. It's to pick up for 10. Last little bit. And that was a pick up and pace. Nice job. Good hard work. Call this what you want, but it's basically like a side plank, hand and knees, with an arm wave or swing. All right, so we're gonna break it down to the ground. Let me show you a few. So hand is underneath the shoulder. We're going on those knees, arm up to the sky, opening up. As you reach behind your hips or glutes, you'll lower the hips a little bit, reach up, nice big arc or arch here, and we'll repeat staying on this side. All right, here we go. So engage inner thighs, glutes coming up. And then as you reach behind, you lower the hips, you reach up and over like a good rainbow. Great mobility here, as well as I want you to focus on the hips, say, hey, and then you come back up. And they say, hey, you should feel that through that side body. Nice stretch work, as I might call it, stretch work. You're saying, hey, with a nice big wave. Hey, with a nice big wave, last one, and lower down. Other side. So great mobility, great strength. Something I was thinking about as I went, and maybe you want to key into for yourself, is making sure as you lower the hips not to sink in the shoulder. Keep pushing that floor away. So visualize pushing away as you lower the hips. Let's engage. Bring it up. That side plank on the hand and the knees. And here we go. Lower behind. Reach up and over. Like I said, keep pushing that floor away even as the hips lower. I like to follow with my eyes some. Feels kind of yummy. All right, this is what I call yummy. If it's hurting good, then that's okay too. You know, just different words. Yummy. A little stretch work. Kind of like a mermaid in Pilates. Oh, lateral stretch reach, lateral flexion there. Last one and done. So now you're like, oh yeah, that felt good. Woohoo! Good job. All right, we got hooks to start. We also have some lateral kicks coming up, but basically this is what it's gonna look like. Hook, hook, hook. You're tight in your frame. You're thinking about coming around, hitting a bag right there. Let's go ahead, let's practice, and let's do some work. Set it up, athletic position. Hooking, hook, 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 hook. You're strong. You're making sure that you got a little bit of power through the hip there, driving. That's your driving force. Make yourself just kind of feel, feel like you're boxing. I got to pretend. Hitting the bag. Getting through it. If you really integrate some bracing, some breathing, full body work right here. And reset. Now, next up, we have lateral kicks. So about hip height, you think bend the knee, kick. Other side, bend the knee, kick. A lot of strength and stability right there. Great for the hips, working in a different plane of movement. Frontal plane, let's get it started. Start off getting the groove, ready? Bend, kick, bend, kick. About hip height, give me what you got. As you get confident there, just make sure that you stay moving, giving me your best. Last little bit here. Feel those hips have to open up. Glutes. Your core is holding you upright. Your core is holding you there. Reset. 
All right, we're gonna do hooks again and those lateral kicks, but don't worry, I'll tell you when to switch. So all you have to worry about is doing some work. So again, and those hooks, driving your torso right there, the hip is your driver. You're just pretending. You're hitting something, having a little fun, let's go. Hook, hook, hook. Having a little fun with it. Kicking it into gear, because those kicks are coming up. And set, bend kick. Imagine a target, you gotta kick in, kick in the door. Burning building, save the child. Kick it in. Take some stability strength right there. Set, and killer. I like the way you worked. Okay, we have work to do. We got a dumbbell frontal plane press meaning you're staying in between two planes of glass. So we're not really adding rotation or anything like that. Let's grab your dumbbells <clears throat> and you can adjust as needed because we will have some sets of this. So go ahead, pick them up, here we go. We're pressing back to center, press, think of it kind of like a diagonal. So you are pressing up to the sky, pulling right back down, stacked elbows, shoulders there, okay? Not rotating staying in between those two planes of glass. Press, pull it back. That kind of off-center load should make your core go, whoa, proprioception's like, oh, kick, 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 I have to. I have no choice. That's kind of a nice scenario, right? I have no choice. Let's do some work. Let's do some work. A nice adjustment for a, like a boring little shoulder press, right? And center. And you can bring them down if you need to. Reset, if you will. And we got another round. So we just get better. That's what we're working on every day. We're just getting better. So we're going to go again. And you're going to stay in that uh, frontal plane. So think side to side, little tick tocky. So dumbbells up. We're going to get started. Three, two, and one. Press, pull it back to center. Press, pull it back and down. You got shoulders, lats, core here. Pull it down like you're making orange juice with those armpits. Squeeze, reach, squeeze. Again, that off-center load, your core should say, hey, oh. Off-center, if you're getting off-center, you're getting it right. If you're getting a little off-center, you're getting it right. Last little bit here. Really elongate, last one, recover, I need it, woo! So I can do it again. So we reset so we can do it again. If I made you do three minutes of that, we wouldn't have made it. Reset, go again, max bang for our buck, and uh, we're getting started. Last time through, three, just give me what you got, two and one. Reach and pull, reach and pull. Think about hiding those ribs as you reach up, kind of pull them in, bracing, I won't really ever punch you, I can't, but you can pretend. If you think it, you'll flex a little bit more. Reach, pull it in. Reach, pull it in. Last little bit. I know you wanna drop those arms to give me, push right past where you really wanted to go. Make a change. Two, one, and that was awesome. You earned your better. Good job. We have a half get up from the ground onto the knee. It's gonna look something like this. We are gonna have a dumbbell in the hand, so we're gonna actually use some load here. If I'm starting on the ground, if my left knee's bent, my left arm's up holding that dumbbell pack down into my lap. From here, it is a punch push up onto the hand, still keeping that pack down in my lap. A lift, pulling the knee through, all the way up, locking in that vertical plank right there. Hand down, pull that leg through, sit, and control that descent. So that's a full rep. Let's go ahead and grab our weight. Make sure you grab it with control as we lie down to the ground. Left knee bent, left arm up, dumbbells packed down into my lat, and it is 
punch, push, rotating there, up onto the hand. From here, lift, pull that knee through, up. Eye on the prize, hand goes down, pull that leg through, sit, slide, deaccelerate right there. Eye on the prize, down and through. Keep the integrity of my shoulders. Again. All the way down. Last one on this side. Up onto the hand. Lift with your core. Up and other side. Right knee bent, right arm up, and back down. Push up onto the hand. Pull. Punch, push, up onto the hand. Right back down. Last two. Last one. And pull that weight down. That took a lot of control and focus. Excellent job. Very strong. We have the frontal plane skip. I really struggled with this at first, but basically think you're crossing over, skipping, crossing over, crossing over, skipping constantly to the front. Go slow at first, get the hang of it. Just keep crossing over to the front. If you've ever done karaoke, it's like that without the back step. Your whole goal here is work your space, little or big. You just work what you have, and we start now. Take the opportunity to get the hang of it. Okay, cross forward, hop, forward, skip, forward, boom, Forward, boom, forward, boom, forward, boom. Take your time, who cares? Nobody's looking at you, you can just get it done. Good, locomotion is important. This is good for our brain. Okay, I'm having to think here. This is good for our brain, that's really important. So you're working mind, body, you don't have to sit down and do some math problems. Woo, we're working it. <laughs> so, I think forward, side, forward, skip, forward, skip. Forward skip, forward skip, forward skip. It's a fun way, right? Challenge the brain and actually do cardio without, it's like dancing. It's like dancing, that's fun, without always feeling like, oh gosh, this is a lunge jump. We're working a frontal plane, great for the hips. Great for the hips and mobility, so knees are gonna be happier in the future. And done. See, you did it the first time. And uh, you know, if you feel ridiculous, get loose, you're thinking too hard. Get loose, you're thinking too hard. Usually if I give you less pointers and you just, I'm just moving and grooving. I'm going sideways, crossing the leg in front, a little pep in my step, you're probably gonna get it. So the point is move side to side, cross in front. We're gonna do it one more time. I bet this time it'll be a little bit easier to kind of get the rhythm, okay? So let's do it. Cross, hop, cross, Hop, cross, hop, cross, hop, cross. And then if you feel like you got it, you could challenge yourself. Pick up your pace. Play with it, play with it. I don't have to talk to you, you can do this. Skip, skip, skip to my lose. Skip, skip, skip to my lose. Like little kids, that's good for us. Woohoo! Yeah, I got little ones. 
I got little ones. All those little things are stuck in my head. Now I started rotating. I'm going to try and stay straight on a little bit here with my sternum so that it's just my hips really having to cross. Sternum is straight ahead. You saw me misstep there. That's okay. Last little bit and you did it. Good job. All right, we have plank to step through and it looks a little something like this. You're gonna plank it up, hands under the shoulders, tight through the whole body. You're pulling up and in to pull a leg forward right outside that hand and it goes back to the start position, other leg. So we're alternating. Your focus there, we're gonna get some good mobility and strength. A lot of core. Let's knock it out. Plank, go with me now. Plank position, surfboard body, and pull up by that hand. Plank, pull. First time through, can you just focus on really working that leg to get up all the way flat by that hand? Pull with your abs. It's kind of an initiation from your ribs and abs, pulling up and in to get it up there. Pulling up and in. We're almost there. Don't worry, we have a reset and come up. So taking this little bit of a breather and what I like about you standing up here for a moment if you can is feel, wow, I was working, but I kind of feel open in those hips. So I was working core the whole time, but she's sneaky. She's making working some mobility. Sweet, best bang for your buck. We're about to get started again. So I want you to find plank. Let's do it, hands under shoulders. Body like a surfboard, tight tension, three, two, and one. Bring it forward by that hand. We're so hardcore, the snot might fall out, but that's all good. Whew. Lots of intention through this movement. The plank is not a rest position. Don't let it be. Flex and flex the butt cheeks. Apple butt cheeks, no applesauce jeans. Last few. Whew. That's a lot harder than just sitting here holding a plank. I'd be flexing. And bring it up. So what I mean, flex those butt cheeks, really flex them in that plank. You'll get more. We like more. Sometimes you're just working through it, that's cool too. But we're gonna do it one more time. An opportunity, kind of focus in on what I'm saying, okay? That plank is tight, tight. Tight, let's do it, let's knock it out. Down on the ground, hands under the shoulders. Flex your butt and lunge, plank. Woo, abs, woo. Abs in motion, we like that. You got stability, you got movement now, movement-based core. Last little bit. I know your upper body's working, legs are working. Your core is on fire. Last little bit. Three, two, one. And stand up because you're done with that one. Good job. It's what we've been looking forward to. We have the supine thoracic rotation. We get to breathe and calm the nervous system and get some nice ringing out of that rib cage area. Should be yummy for the low back and the entire body, the chest, shoulders. So let's walk through it. I want you to have a seat on the ground. When you start the position, you'll lie. I want you to try and find neutral alignment through the head. So instead of chin up straining, think a massage therapist just pulled on your neck a little bit and reset that head. From here, you can bring those knees into a tabletop position. And let's go ahead, arms to the T, before I start going, arms to the T, rotate the legs to one side, and you can assist hold with that hand against those the legs. Just a little light assistance here. Think about head can be straight up to the sky neutral. It can look at that arm that's teed out to the side. Whatever makes you comfortable here, relax, breathe, calm down. You can feel the side body, chest, shoulders, lats. We call this thoracic rotation. Basically, you might just wanna say it's yumminess. That's fine. Let's go ahead and switch sides. I either bring my knees up. It's okay if you assist. 
If you can't pull them into that tabletop position, you can bring them back around to the center this way. Either way, our knees are going out to one side. It's a light assistance with that one hand, opposing arm, so that other arm's out to the T. Try to just keep that neutral neck alignment. All that means is no strain, no strain. Your breathing, your breath is what will help reach all ends of the body and help you actually calm down. We want to get out of fight or flight mode. That's exciting for your trainer to say, right? And good. From here, you can just assist, roll those knees to the center, and look, you're calm. Good job. This might be everybody's favorite, but we have child's pose next. You're, you're focused on breath, and I'll set you up. I want you to take about 10 breaths there. I'll just kind of guide you through. So we are coming down to the ground, okay, on the knees. As you sink back bottom towards the heels a little bit, you're gonna walk your hands forward so you can kind of elongate through the spine there. Relax that head a little bit. And then pause here, take some breaths. Feel yourself kind of sink and melt into the position. If you're there, you don't have to look at me anymore. You can just hold and breathe. Breath and reflection, if you're doing more than you did yesterday or last week and you're just moving more, that is an excellent job. Breath and recovery, also a whole part of the process. Just trust the process. Now I want you to tell yourself on this last breath, reflection is, I have done a good job. You have to have positive self-talk there. But we're going to gently bring you out of there, so kind of glide those arms closer to you. And then however best, you can come up to your feet, kind of shake it out, reset. And that was excellent. Good job.